Hello. Web scraping can often require outputting large amounts of data, in which case CSV may not be the best tool for the job. So, you use a database. Inside a database, you have tables. You can have multiple tables. So, the first example I did recently in one of my other videos was showing how to web scrape and output to one table. <laughs> now, two tables. So, if you'd like to see some more, let's go. Firstly, why do we need two tables? Multiple tables are better to reduce duplicate data. The process of splitting up data and in this way is to remove duplication and improve the Yeah, all that. Okay, so whatever it's called, normalization. How do we use two tables? Well, we create two tables in our database. Here I'm using MySQL, which is now also named MariaDB. We need to write some logic in Python, in our scraper, our spider, within Scrapey as I'm doing, to insert the output from Scrapey into either one table or the other. So, for instance, if you were web scraping a bookshop, you may want to store all of your fiction in one table and all of your non-fiction in another table. Um, you may have to keep your data separate so that you can add additional fields into one table and not the other. Many, many reasons. Uh, all would become clear very soon. Good. So hopefully this uh, shows you what we're about to do. We have our good old trusty books to scrape.com web scraping friendly site. We've got Scrapey and two tables. Where did the two tables come from? Well, you have to create them. You create them using, let's look at my notes. Well, you create the table and then to add an extra table, create table and then something like uh, whatever your table name is. So this one called books and then open brackets and then you specify all of your columns. So a column is, for instance, book name, author, price, and so on. Uh, depending on the flavor of database you're using, you may use varchar or you may use text. There's different uh, advantages of using either, so I'm not gonna go into that here. Um, two tables and on the end of the cylinder is the database. So if you're new to databases, a database can have one or more tables which split up the information, so to speak. Okay, right, enough chit chat. So this is Scrapey, well, this is Python code using the Scrapey framework. You could use beautiful soup, requests, many, many ways to get the same result. So I'm scraping books to scrape and you can see my pass method is searching for either the word train or the word murder in the title of the book. And you'll have seen that in a previous video I did. That's uh, not the focus of this video. So. If check is true, we're going to check if any of the words in the W search are in our book title. So if any of the books have got train or murder in the title, then we're going to insert the URL and the book title into links. What we're expecting to get from this is approximately I've run it before and uh, I got about 18, 18 books which had either train or murder in the title. If that is not true, then else. 
we'll insert the URL and the book title into links to. Now here you see we've got links and we've got links to. Links is a table, links to is a table. They're both tables within the same database. So when we make the connection uh, within Scrapey, which you will have seen in the previous video for MySQL, we've already connected to the database. All we need to do is send our output from pass item either to the links table or the links to table. This is very much better than using a CSV because I don't know if you've looked on Stack Overflow or anything to try and output to separate CSVs based on some conditional logic is pretty messy and I think the last person to comment or attempt it was four years ago. Scraping to a database is much more robust and it allows you to perform much better queries and <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw there was an article in England about 10 days ago how some COVID test results had been stored in an Excel document i.e. a CSV and it had been lost, deleted, whatever. <laughs> Try losing data in a database. Mm. Okay, well, any right-minded person would have a, a backup running on a database anyway and uh, to just lose a database, mm, probably a little bit harder than losing an Excel document or a CSV. Um, right click, move to recycle bin, empty recycle bin, yeah. Right, anyway, I talk enough, so let's um, just tidy this up and then get the hell out of here. So this was the result inside the MariaDB. So you saw the MySQL icon at the start, MariaDB, MySQL, for the purposes of this, they're the same thing. If you try and install MariaDB on most platforms, you'll end up arriving with MariaDB anyway. Select star from links. So I selected everything from the first table and I got 18 rows. So there were 18 books with train or murder in the title. And if you select from links two, which is the other table, you get 920 rows. So 920, ah, those weren't all books because this was a crawler. So it was crawling all links. Um, part of the reason I used a crawler was because I didn't want to complicate things. This was, I was trying to keep this as a minimus tutorial. So 920 rows, that included the links. But the 18 rows was I think just books, books with the train or murder in the title. So where do we go from here? If any of this hasn't made sense, then just go back and check with Scrapey Crawler and MySQL part two. Um, that's where you will see some live action, so to speak. And if you want to learn how to actually create a table, you need to create a database first. So mysqltutorial.org, mysql create database. And you can also import a sample database and that has many, many tables. So yeah, to summarize, this video has been about multiple tables and why would you want multiple tables? You would want multiple tables because, remember, saves duplication. So on that bombshell, I'm going to go and do something else. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.